How's it going? How's it going? Welcome to uh, another pickup video. Today is the 14th of uh, January. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be a, a short pickup video. I don't have like too much stuff. So, um, it shouldn't be too long, but you know, with me, I do intend to uh, uh, ramble on, I suppose you could say. So, um, yeah, nothing, nothing too special. I bought a game on the PSN and PlayStation Store. Um, I'll talk a bit, a little bit about Steam. Uh, two PS2 games and two books as well, which are game related. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll start off with the the PS2 games, shall we? Now, there was a charity shop that was selling. Uh, they were doing a deal. They were doing well. The PS2 games in there are usually like two pound fifty, but they're doing like a half price sale. So basically, I got these uh, PS2 games for like one pound twenty five each. So that's pretty pretty good deal. And the first game is Red Faction Two. Two fifty, but it was uh, I got it for half price. Not bad. It's complete with a manual. Manual looks a bit you know it's a bit tatty. You can just see that it's a bit tatty. And yeah, I think it's I think it's a bit damp as well. But oh well. Discs, minor scratches, nothing, uh, nothing much there, and the disc holder's a bit doesn't click in right. The disc holder's not working right. Uh, I played this up for about um, half an hour, about thirty minutes. Uh, it seems pretty, pretty enjoyable. I, I actually had the original Red Faction when I was younger, when I first had the PS2, but I sold it because I was a bit lost. So. <laughs> Yeah, I used to do that a lot when I was younger. Sell if I got a lost in a game, just sell it because I couldn't be bothered. Uh, but it was enjoyable. I really shouldn't have sold it. I, I, I need to get the original again sometime. But yeah, Red Faction Two seems really good as well. Uh, I, I, I really do like the you know the environmental environmental destruction. Uh, so yeah, and I recently got Red Faction Guerrilla and um, Red Faction Armageddon on uh, the PS3. So um, that kind of helped me to get this, you know, kind of influenced me, I suppose you could say. So yeah, it really does uh, seem like a pretty good shooter so far. Not like I say, not quite too much of it, but yeah, it's uh, quite good, I think. And the second game is, I don't know where I'm going with this game at all, but it is a uh, Time Splitters, the original Time Splitters, again same price. Now I've never played a Time Splitters game, and I found this. I played it for about an hour maybe. I haven't got past like I'm, I didn't like get past like a a mission or a map or whatever the hell the things are. Uh, I played a death match. I won a death match, but as for the story mode, I don't. I really don't have a clue what I'm doing. But yeah, it's, yeah, complete. Uh, disc. It's got a few scratches. Nothing. Nothing bad. It's one of those blue discs, purple discs. I don't like them at all. I really don't like them at all. And as for the manual, it's rough as well. I think it's the same, being like the same person, because damp. It's because <laughs> they're all like in the, the same condition. But yeah, well, who, who gives a damn? It says here, uh, apparently by Edge. I don't know what Edge. Which Edge is that? A a magazine or something, I don't know. Final the uh, the game worth buying a PS2 for, so apparently it's it's a game worth buying the PS2 for, but I don't really think you know I find it too hard, put it that way, I find it really difficult and uh, I and maybe just because I don't know what I'm doing, but I kept getting my ass handed to me on a on a plate. Uh, <laughs> the shooting takes a bit of getting used to, but apart from that I'm so, I did enjoy the death match on it. I suppose it is a good game, but I just need to, you know, get into it, I suppose you could say. So, uh, yeah, the original Time Splitters, PS2, yeah. Okay, so on the PlayStation, on the PlayStation Store, they were doing a, a winter sale. So, um, when I seen this, uh, this game, uh, I just couldn't resist getting it. And it was the uh, it was a Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now, as you may or may not know, the Resident Evil Director's Cut on eBay goes for about £14, £15, pound, you know, it is, a, it is an expensive game. 
an expensive PS1 game, you know. I wouldn't pay that kind of money for a PS1 game. I probably wouldn't pay like over f like three pound for a PS1 game. Probably not, unless it's you know, unless it's like really rare, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, I got, I got Resident Evil Director's Cut. I don't know what's playing it as Jill, which I still need to upload like seven parts or something. Uh, I think I'll do Chris as well as a Let's Play I might, maybe later in the year, maybe. Yeah, I do what I do, uh, another Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut as Chris, the Chris, uh, Chris's scenario. But yeah, it's a really good game. I like it better than the original, typically it's got the, it's got the advanced mode which is a uh, increase of difficulty, which I think is amazing. You know, it's a bit, it's a bit of a challenge, well, you know, it's still, to me I still find it, you know, easy enough. Mainly because I'm I'm used to the game, you know. I've played it over and over again. The original Resident Evil games, played them over and over again. So you know, I'm, I'm pretty good at them. I would say, maybe. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Resident Evil Director's Cut was about three ninety nine, I think it was. It was either two ninety nine or three ninety nine, but it was a real good price for it, so I couldn't resist. And right, I want to talk a little bit about Steam. Now I don't I haven't like told anybody in here like what I've got on Steam like you know if I buy a game on Steam which is very rare by the way uh, I don't like mention it in a pickup video but I probably should but I, I think I will uh, once I find what I'm looking for here there we go yeah so this was about two or three months ago yeah exactly it's a long time ago uh, they were doing a, a, sa a sale on Steam selling some games and there was two games that caught my eye and that was uh, the Broken Sword games, Broken Sword The Shadow of the Templars which was that one, yeah I've already got it but they had the, the, the Broken Sword The Shadow of the Templars director's cut and I oh, also had the uh, Broken Sword 2 and Broken Sword 3 they all had a, I think they were seven point one pound twenty each or something, something like that so I got the original but the, uh, the director's cut of course and I got Broken Sword 2, the Sleeping, is it the Sleeping, uh, Sleeping Dragon? No, um, Broken Sword 2 is the Smoking Mirror, I think it is. Is it the Smoking Mirror? Yeah. Yeah, Broken Sword 2, the Smoking Mirror. Whoa, you're Smoking Mirrors. Whoa, sorry. Uh, it's a wrestling song, by the way. Um, yeah, so Broken Sword 2, uh, the Smoking, Smoking, Smoking Mirror, yeah. Uh, it's actually pretty good actually, I really enjoyed it. That's actually the first time I've uh, been playing it. I've almost completed it in fact. I've, I've abandoned it for a month. Uh, since it came you know, to the Christmas time I just you know, stopped playing it. Cause I, was, I was too busy with the PS3. So I got pretty far in it and of course I completed the uh, Broken Sword, the Shadow of Templars Director's Cut. Which I think is really good as well, you know. The Director's Cut, um, you, can, you can play as a female character as well, it's like Nico, so it's like a it's like a side story, so you like you can see George's uh, George as well as Nico's like separate stories, you know, which I think is really good, you know, and also have extra puzzles and stuff, which I don't like because I don't like puzzles, but you can uh, you can actually skip them. Well, I wouldn't say skip them, but you can get a real good hint that more or less gives you the answer to the the puzzle, so it's pretty easy uh, that way. Uh, I enjoyed it that way. Because I could have been on some of those puzzles for quite a while. Because, uh, you know, they pissed me off, you know. So, um, yeah, both are really good games. I love the Broken Sword games. I didn't get the Broken Sword 3 because I'll probably get that on the PS2 sometime. So, um, yeah, love the Broken Sword games. And they're really good. Okay. And uh, the books that I got uh, today. Well, basically, my mum's my mum knows a friend, you know, she's got a friend. And um, she's having like a, a clear out of like stuff, clothes, books, you know, making room and stuff, you know. So uh, she was selling these two is these two books here, and you know she was open to offers, you know. So I said, uh, would you accept three pound for both of them? And she said yes. So uh, yeah, I got them. So the first one is the Guinness Guinness World Records uh, Gamers Edition 2008. Okay, Mario, Wayne Rooney, and some guy out of... Is that Halo? I think it's Halo, isn't it? So yeah, um, let's open up a little bit here. Oh, Pikachu. Way. 
<laughs> so yeah, I think um, I've not really read these yet. I've like had a little skim through them. They seem pretty good. Uh, you know, gives you all the records for games and stuff, which really uh, interests me. It's good. Um, it'll be interesting to read about. Yeah, so this one's it's a bit tarty and like creased in some places. You can maybe just see that, but it's a bit creased in some places and. Is is probably the biggest crease. Look at that down there, down there. Oops, down there. It's a massive crease, and it feels a bit, you know, it feels a bit rubbery. But yeah, it's a yeah, 2008. And with that, Guinness World Records 2009 Gamers Edition, which feels a lot harder, you know. It's not a rubbery. It's yeah. Uh, oh, that video's not going very well, is it? Uh, so yeah, some real good reading in that. I saw a week on in that actually. I've seen um, the Nintendo Nerd. What do you call him? The Angry Video Game Nerd, whatever it was. Uh, he was in here. Actually, I've seen him somewhere, but anyway. There's my. So yeah, it's got a record for, for games and stuff. Uh, yeah, the Angry Video Game Nerd, right? Somebody actually commented in one of my videos saying that I look like a younger version of him. Really? <laughs> really? Um, I personally don't see the resemblance myself. What do you guys think? Do, do I look like the, a young version of woman, the Angry Video Game Nerd? <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely a more clean version anyway. Put it that way. But yeah, I wouldn't. I don't really see the resemblance apart from the glasses, maybe. But and I, I'm a video game fan, maybe. Uh, so yeah, I don't see the resemblance. What do you think? Uh, so anyway, guys, that's basically this video. It's not been that good. It's not been real good, is it? I'm not gonna lie. It's been a bit meh. Oh well, that's basically it. And I have to access from on YouTube through Google Chrome here. Because I can't actually log on to YouTube into my account through uh, Internet Explorer. I have to go into Google Chrome. I don't know whether it's a problem with Internet Explorer, whether it's you know something wrong with the browser, whether it's YouTube just being a complete arse, or I don't know. Anyway, that's basically it. Before I start rambling uh, on things I've got nothing to do with pickups, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. See you guys. Take care.